the game that reigns. It's taken me places I never could imagine. Opportunities to achieve success. Aaron McGee, Atlantic Ten Player of the Year. From playground courts to the biggest stage. Aaron McGee was just like a different teammate that I had. It was just more than just basketball. Basketball has taken me many places, but one thing's for sure. There's no place like home. Thank you for coming here this afternoon as we open an exciting chapter in Temple basketball. But as Aaron McKee becomes our basketball head coach for our men, it's not really an entirely new chapter. Coach McKee is no stranger to this campus. He recently completed his fifth year on the team's coaching staff under the great leadership of Coach Fran Dunphy. I don't need to remind you that Aaron McKee had an illustrious playing career here in this very hall under the great leadership of Coach John Cheney. The rich tradition of our men's basketball program is nationally recognized. Coach McKee becomes only our fifth head coach over the last 67 seasons. That means a lot. It means Temple University is a special place with a special basketball team, a special basketball program, and special student athletes who embrace success on the court and in the classroom. Of the four coaches who immediately preceded Coach McKee, two of them, John Cheney and Harry Litwack, are in the National Basketball Hall of Fame. And two are in the Big Five Hall of Fame, with a third, Coach Fran Dumphy, going to join them next season. Coach Cheney and Coach Dumphy are with us today Coaches, you are both legends in your own time. We are so grateful for all that you have done on behalf of Temple students, Temple basketball, the entire university, and all of Philadelphia. You both are amazing. Let's hear it for our great past coaches. And now there's Coach McKee, who already is in the Big Five Hall of Fame as a result of his remarkable playing career here. Coach, I know you are familiar with our student athletes. I also know you appreciate just how special our players are. Our student athletes are doing an outstanding job both on the court and in the classroom and I couldn't be happier about our momentum on both fronts. In fact, when we look at all of our more than 500 student athletes at Temple University, they are all excelling. For example, for the fall 2000, 
15 fall semester, Temple student athletes posted an all time high GPA. And their graduation rates and their NCAA academic progress rates continue to rank among the very, very best in the country. Our student athletes are here to grow and learn. And in every way, our players to continue to be great ambassadors on behalf of Temple University. And Coach McKee, we are all so proud that you, a graduate of Temple University, are assuming this new role. We are delighted to have you as our next head coach. We know you are poised to continue the academic and athletic development of our players and to build on the outstanding long-time tradition of our basketball program. We wish you and the entire team all the best in the upcoming seasons. With that, I'd like to now ask, come up to the podium please, uh, our athletics director, Pat Kraft. Thank you, President Engler. Um, uh, before we get started here, I want to uh, uh, thank Coach Dunphy uh, for everything he has done for our program, uh, but more importantly, everything he's done for our department. Uh, coach is, is always around our department more than any coach we've ever had here, walking the halls, uh, thoroughly engaged. And I want to thank Coach for 13 great years leading our men's program, uh, for being a mentor and a leader. Uh, in our department, and Coach has left a, a mark on our program that will last uh, forever here at Temple. And so for that, I'm very grateful for, for Coach Dumpf. So, Coach McKee, for those two people in the building that don't know Aaron's story, I'm going to give you a quick synopsis. Aaron grew up just a few blocks from Temple's campus, campus down the street there. He played in North Philly at Simon Gratz High School. As a senior, Aaron led Simon Gratz to the Public League Championship, which he won in this building. Aaron played in three straight NCAA tournaments, playing on one of Coach Cheney's great teams, played in the Elite Eight in 1993. Aaron is tied for sixth on our school's all-time scoring list with 1,650 points. He averaged 17.9 points a game. Aaron was the A-10 player of the year, and he was voted most outstanding player in the Big Five. He was the 17th pick by the Portland Trail Blazers in the 94 NBA draft. Aaron played 13 seasons in the NBA. Eight of those were with the 76ers. In 2001, while playing with the Sixers, Aaron won the Sixth Man of the Year Award. In 2008, Aaron joined the 76ers staff as an assistant coach, where he stayed for five years before joining Coach Dunphy in 2014 here at Temple. Aaron McKee is Philadelphia basketball. We have been blessed at Temple to have incredible men and mentors run our basketball program. Aaron fits in the mold of legends like Coach Cheney, Coach Dunphy, and all those that came before him. I've had the, the great opportunity over the last 12 months to really watch Coach McKee grow as a college coach. It's different. Different challenges. It has been a joy of mine to watch how he interacts with the guys and I, when anyone knows me, loves his, uh, his brutal honesty and his upfrontness, if that's even a word, to what he expects from those gentlemen right there. His vision for the future of our program is one that excites anyone that he can tell it to. I've enjoyed working with and getting to know Aaron McKee, the man. I've enjoyed watching Aaron's passion for the game of basketball, but more importantly, his passion for making a difference in the lives of our athletes, and he means it. It's not just fluff. I've enjoyed watching Aaron off the court. The brother, the father, the husband, and the friend. Aaron McKee is the temple story. 
And Aaron McKee is ready for this opportunity. I am excited for Aaron. I'm excited for our basketball program. I'm excited for the fans of Temple, the alums of Temple. It is a great time to be a Temple Owl. And so, it is my great pleasure to formally introduce Temple's men's basketball head coach, Aaron McKee. gave me discipline, and you showed me tough love. You put me in the race of life, and you taught me how to be a leader every day. And I know it wasn't, I know it wasn't an easy job, because I was a difficult kid to deal with, whether you know, a lot of you want to believe that or not. <laughs> but I thank you. Thank you. Coach Cheney. When my sister passed away a few months ago, you, you called me and you said, Aaron, I got to do something for you. Anything. 
And my response to that was, you did enough. You gave me hope. You gave me a sense of pride. And you, put, you positioned me to finish the race. I thank you, and I love you. This is such a surreal moment for me. When I stand here in this building and the history that comes along with it. I was a kid growing up in North Philadelphia and Temple was my dream school to play basketball at. And now I'm standing here in front of you with my dream job. The opportunity to grow this program, but more importantly, shape the lives of kids through the game of basketball. I had my high school graduation in this gym. I played two public league high school championships, won one, lost one. I played all of my summer league basketball in this gym, honing my basketball talents in the Sunny Hill League. And I see Sonny over there in the Sunny Hill League. He was well before his time. And this was well before AAU, before everybody started to travel. And I, I obviously, had some success under Coach Cheney in this gym with the Temple Owls. Coach would always say to me, how you start is how you finish. I started in this place as a winner, and my intentions are to finish as one. Being the head coach of my alma mater is a tremendous honor. I think about the history of coaches, from Litwack, Hall of Famer, Casey, Cheney, Hall of Famer, Coach Dunphy, soon to be Hall of Famer. I know that there's a lot of pressure and I'm well aware of that fact. Having these coaches before me lay the foundation in stone. Excuse me. Have the coaches before me lay the foundation in stone has set the standards high for me. And I continue and want to add to those numbers. We're the fifth winner in this program in college basketball history, and that's something that I'm very proud of, to be a part of. My goal will be to build a perennial conference champion through our core values of hard work, toughness, commitment, and consistency. I need kids with heart, with a mindset that they will not be outworked, outsmarted, or outplayed. I want academically sound students that are willing to excel in the classroom so that when basketball is over, they're able to excel in life. I'm ready and prepared for the challenges ahead of me. I'm a proud Philadelphian and I'm Temple made. I want to make this, I want to make Temple University and everyone involved proud of my work. Thank you. Questions here from the media. Zach Elk. Coach, congratulations. Clearly there's a lot of emotions running through you. You knew this job though was coming throughout the entire year. When you woke up this morning, just what were some of the thoughts you were feeling now knowing that you're going to be the head coach of your alma mater? I didn't sleep. <laughs> I was up all night. Just um, Temple took, took a chance on me in, in 90 as a student athlete. Um, and now they're taking a chance on me as a, as a coach. And it's, it's like, a, like the stock market. You, you put some money into some high risk stocks, you know, comes with a lot of risk, but the dividends it can pay out can be awesome. So that's, that's pretty much what was running, running through my mind all last night and, and today and just having the opportunity to be able to impact young kids and, and be able to impact this community. Aaron, not every coach gets a chance to sit on the bench for a year as an associate head coach and before as an assistant for the job he knows he's going to get. How valuable has this year been in being able to settle in now as head coach? Very, 
very bad. Um, college is it's, it's a difficult job. So many working parts to it. It's like, you know, being your, your own CEO. You know, just this past week or so, just all the things that's coming on my my desk and the emails that I'm getting and the things that I have to res- that I have to respond to. You're not aware of those things when you're assistant coach. I think the basketball part will take care of itself. Um, I just think the things outside the basketball part, I'm still trying to figure those things out and, and get my arms around that. Coach Anthony Gilbert, NBA.com. First and foremost, can you just talk about your NBA journey and how that will help you in terms of coaching and recruiting? And then the second part I just wanted to, you to touch on is not only did you pay respect to your former coaches, high school, college, and they're here to support you in the Sunny Hill League and Mr. Hill. Talk about how you literally sound like them when you were talking to your players and addressing them. Well, I mean, that's, I get a lot of who I am from those guys. Again, Mr. L had me since I was a kid, a recreation center. And when I say those hard lessons, he realized right away how interested I was, not just in basketball, but in sports. And so for, in order for me to get some gym time, I had to go in there and clean up whatever things were not done around the recreation center, trash outside. I had to go out there and clean it up to make sure that, you know, I could get myself in the gym and, and play. And then on top of that, I had to make sure I kept my, my conduct together when I was in there. So he was on top of me from, from day one and, and making sure I was taking all the right steps. Um, you know, with Coach Cheney's pretty much the same. I mean, Coach L was a disciple of Coach Cheney. would come down and watch those guys play. So for me, it was a match made in heaven to have two men like that in my life that were so, so disciplined. But at the same time, they're seeking perfection, not just perfection in, in the game of basketball, but perfection in the, in the game of life. And, and now I, I stand before you with the opportunity that those guys had and were able to provide not only in my life, but so many others throughout North Philadelphia, just Philadelphia in general, throughout the country. And now I'll have an opportunity to impact some kids the same way that those guys impacted my life. Well, I think being a former pro, that's the mindset of a lot of these kids. You know, I played 13 years in the league, coached in the, um, coached in the NBA. That's ex- invaluable experience that I could, I could share with those guys. You know, the, the most insulting thing to me is when I meet these kids and, and they come on campus and you take them around and you're talking to them about basketball, you're talking to them about academics and the university. First thing out of those guys' mouths is, well, who's going to get me better in basketball? And I got to scratch my head at that when it's somebody that got not only 13 years of experience with professional basketball, but I had Hall of Fame coaches in my life in Coach Ellaby, uh, John Chaney, Larry Brown, uh, Fran Dunphy. I learned from the best so I can teach you the best. And guess what? I'm a gym rat. I like to be in the gym so I can help you get better at basketball. But the focus that I try to concentrate on is getting those guys better in life. Aaron, congratulations also. What do you think is the most important thing you've learned over this past year that will help you going forward? I would say preparation. I've always been a guy that, well, I had to prepare myself as, a, as an athlete. I didn't come with, you know, this elite, these elite athletic gifts. But the one thing I've always tried to do was outwork people, outthink people. So with, with preparation, I watch Co- Coach Dunphy every day and how he went about his business, just making sure the team was prepared from, from top to bottom. And I think that's, that's the most that I, I took away because, again, it's, it's so much going on in the, in, the, in the college world. You need so many other people around you to help you keep the program uh, firm. Aaron, with all the people that laid the foundation for you now, what are the, the kind of the signature points that you – want to put on the program that you want to leave on the program? Well, I want to matter. I want this program to matter. I want to be in a conversation across the country. And I think for us, I, I talked about our core values, but I didn't really go in depth. 
about it was hard work. We want to work hard at everything we do. Why we want to work hard? Because we care. We care about what we do. We want to work hard in the weight room. We want to work hard in practice every day. Uh, we want to work hard in the classroom. We want to work hard in the community. And that's because we care. And that's, that's, creating, that's creating good habits for our guys to carry with them throughout, throughout their lives. We talk about toughness. In order to play in Philadelphia, in any sport, this is a sports town, and obviously to play here on Broad Street, you got to be tough. And our toughness starts from the neck up. You know, if we could beat people from the neck up, then we certainly can beat them from the, from the neck down with the physical aspects of it. We talked about, I talked about commitment being one of our pillars. Well, we just got to commit to everything it is that we're doing. You know, commit to excellence as a basketball player. Commit to excellence as a, as a student. Commit to excellence in, in serving your community. And consistency, we want to be the same person, as Coach Duff would say all the time, be the same guy every day. We want to be the same guy every day, being consistent with what we do, developing good habits, and that will propel us to, at some point, you know, compete for a national title. Questions? Aaron, you know, you have so much experience as an assistant. Um, in the NBA and then here as well. When did you get the interest that Aaron McKee wanted to become a head coach? Uh, boy. Coach Dunf gave me a call and we just had a conversation. We just sat down and we talked and just, you know, talking with him. and Still really didn't have any interest in, in college because of some of the stories that I heard from other people. And we continued to have conversations and said, you know, we got let go by the 76ers, so I said, what the heck, give it a try. And uh, once you start engaging with these kids and you see how, how much they, how much room they got to grow and how, how, you know, it was fruitful for me inside to be around these kids and, and try to help them and develop them. It, it creates a love affair between the two. And, and when I look into these kids' eyes, I see a lot of myself. You know, they, they're asking and they're, they're looking for help. And you know, I feel like I was the right guy at the right time to be able to help those guys with not just basketball, but, but life and anything outside of, of the sport. Questions? Okay. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Thanks everyone for coming. Uh, we'll have questions off the podium.